When we talk of energy these days, hydrogen is increasingly a major part of that conversation. It has its challenges as an energy source, but companies like Norwegian organization Hydrogen Pro keep pushing the boundaries of engineering to come up with cleaner, greener, and perhaps most important, cost-effective production methods. I'm Andrew Wilson, and I'm here in Davos to speak to the Hydrogen Pro team about the future of green hydrogen. Tori, I and Richard, great to see you. Thanks very much indeed uh, for joining us and to talk about Hydrogen Pro. Briefly, let's give us an introduction, Richard, to Hydrogen Pro. We started with a very little handful of people and developed step by step uh, all the way up to 2020 where we went uh, to the stock market and we got some more working capital and that allowed us to expand more. And you're in the business of creating green hydrogen and looking for ways to do that on a bigger scale. You bet. It's green hydrogen. As long as we are using renewable electricity and are using an electrolyzer to split H2O into H's and O's, they are classified as green, the hydrogen. Now, as I know, that's a very small percentage of hydrogen on the planet is produced in a so-called green way. The West is gray or dark hydrogen, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. 95% of the hydrogen used in the world today is from fossil fuel. And less than 3% is actually green hydrogen. Fine. So there's our dilemma and our motivation all there. Is it worth it? Do we need the hydrogen? Hydrogen you need anyhow. So it is a discussion. Should it be green or grey? And uh, when we are looking outside and we see the climate change, I think most people, they wish to go back again to the green because that's what we used to have. And remember, Michael Faraday, he published his law about electrolysis in 1834. So this is soon 200 years ago. So it's nothing new. They always used hydrogen from electrolysis in the good old days. So that's a transition issue. We'll get onto that in a moment. First of all, what about the applications? Is the market ready to use hydrogen in more inventive ways? Yeah, um, the market is ready and, and you, you find hydrogen use in pretty much every industry out there today. The steel industry, the, the fertilizer industry, uh, agriculture in general. Uh, now more and more we're looking at what's called sustainable aviation fuels, which is mixing hydrogen into, into um, fuels for airplanes that lowers the CO2 emissions. So there's a lot of use, there's a lot of industries that are, that are needing it, and there's a lot of enthusiasm about getting this transition going. Okay, so we've, broadly speaking, we've talked about electrolysis, we've talked about the appropriateness of hydrogen in the market, we've, we've, we've put ourselves in a, a certain position. Let's talk a little bit more about what it is that you have to offer. What makes Hydrogen Pro? Uh, the place for uh, energy uh, suppliers and users to go to? Well, during the years, I've been working with PEM electrolyzers and alkaline electrolyzers, and they are both very, very good, no doubt about it. But as a smaller company, we need to put full focus on one of the technologies, and we need to focus on alkaline electrolyzers. And the reason for using them it is they do not require any noble metals at all. So that means in the long run, as the years passing by, the cost will go down, down, and further down when we come into the really mass production. And that will also be very, very good for all the end users because the design life for an electrolyzer is 30 years. But each year, number 10, you need to open it, you need to overhaul it, you need to replace what's inside. And if that cost is not controllable, you will have a problem. So that's what we are doing, going all in on one technology. Victoria? Yeah, and, and that's important for us. Our aim, and uh, we've stated this, is to be the number one provider of high-pressure alkaline electrolyzers globally. Uh, so we're focusing on this one technology. Like I mentioned before, we do a lot of R&D around this one topic, and that's how we aim, and that's how we feel we will become the industry leader. Toriay? 
Yeah, and, and I think to go back a little bit to what Richard was talking about, uh, the, the cost of producing green hydrogen. Yes, electricity cost is about between 70 and 90 percent of that cost. We, we get a lot of requests and I see a lot of people who are opposed to the transition saying that the, the production cost of electrolyzers needs to come down significantly in order for this to, to even be anything that, that's going to be sustainable. But as Richard alluded to, we are working, we are an R&D company as well. We do R&D engineering as well as, as equipment manufacturing. Part of our R&D piece is to help improve on a technology that is 100 years old, that very little has been done in those 100 years uh, to, to improve the technology. We are now, as he said, in, in generation three, where we can, we can see that savings of 13 to 14% on the electricity cost is possible. So it's not about, in my opinion, it's not about being able to deliver a cheaper electrolyzer to the end user, but allowing that end user to buy an electrolyzer that over the lifespan of the production, 10, 20 years, you save 10 to 14 percent of your operating cost. That, in my opinion, is what sets Hydrogen Pro apart. Yeah, and I might also add on, when you have a more efficient system, you are generating a lot less heat. Again, you need less cooling water, and you can make a closer loop so you don't lose any cooling water at all. And this is maybe not so very important for us up in Norway, but in the Middle East, in other places where it's high temperature and it's a lack of water, this is really something that contributes to the whole balance of the plant. So we are not only working on the development and R&D inside the electrolyzer, we are also looking at all the innovations around the system, what we call the balance of the plant. Because the final end user, what's important for him or her, it is that what do they pay for the one kilogram of hydrogen in the very end of the day. Richard Torrio, pleasure talking to you. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you too.